It seemed the perfect political match, the Conservatives and the Unionists. But Boris Johnson's Brexit betrayal of the DUP spelled the end of it. Facing open revolt within her own party, Arlene Foster called time on her leadership. For almost five and a half years, I have been incredibly humbled to have the, had the opportunity to lead the Democratic Unionist Party. I have sought to lead the party and Northern Ireland away from division and towards a better path. The future of unionism and Northern Ireland will not be found in division. It will only be found in sharing this place we are all privileged to call home. Elected members felt she'd grown weak on the union, not opposed the Irish sea border enough and compromised on social issues like same-sex marriage and abortion. Her departure shifts the party to a more hardline position that could threaten power sharing and the Northern Ireland Protocol underpinning Brexit. There is a fundamental choice here for the DUP. Do they go to the left or do they go to the right? It's not entirely clear what is going to happen yet, but I think that the instincts of the DUP are always to go to the right. That's where the party was birthed. That's what Ian Paisley brought these people up on. Even though at the end he obviously went leftwards and became much more moderate, that is what these people instinctively turned to. It's a long way from Westminster, but in 2017, Arlene Foster, a politician from Fermanagh, the UK's most westerly constituency, found herself front and centre of British politics holding the balance of power in Parliament. Forced from her border home at the age of eight, when the IRA tried to kill her father, Arlene Foster would later share power with Martin McGuinness, a former IRA commander. But even here, in her beloved Fermanagh, they were losing faith in her leadership. I think there was time for the overall of the whole party, not just Arlene herself, because they seemed to have like one idea and their idea only, stuff like that. So maybe if they had brought in maybe newer people and younger people, with more modern ideas and modern um, thoughts. Well, there's so many complaints about her all the time, isn't there? She, she's been in so many different situations, you know. I don't think she's the best leader. From the highs of a deal to keep the Tories in Downing Street, to the lows of a botched green energy scheme that brought down Stormont, she made her mark on politics. Thank you. But Arlene Foster's days as the face of unionism are over. David Blevins, Sky News, in Fermanagh.